guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to tell you the pros and cons of living in korea now when i was a student there i was there for six months total and that actually was my second time visiting korea and when i was there obviously i was a student if you want you can check my previous videos about how i got into korea pro number one is transportation you guys it is so cheap so reliable very 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 clean like you can lick off the floors you know i'm so used to new york um subways that you literally like ride your carts with rats in it so it was totally a 360 and it's so reliable if you are running to the subway and it, the door closes on you you probably need to wait only like five to ten minutes for the next subway car to come there's really no need for a car even taxis are super cheap but that kind of brings me to my con so con is that the driving there is extremely reckless it is a little bit terrifying and even when i was there i almost got into a car accident so just be very careful and even if you need to tell the taxi drivers to drive a little carefully or a little slowly please do so even the scooters will boom, boom, boom on the sidewalk so you're not safe on the sidewalk either you just have to play very close attention when you're walking and um, i remember another time i was Go taking a bus ride. It was gonna be like a two-hour bus ride to Surfy Beach to meet some, uh, to meet some of my friends, and you know Surfy Beach is more north than uh, where I was living, so I took the bus, and the bus was going extremely quick. And at one point we were going down like a windy hill, uh, like and it had a lot of bends and twists, and he was just driving very abruptly on the turns. So the second pro is that it is very, very safe and even as a woman walking late at night, I didn't feel like I was in any sort of danger. You know, even at night, it's still very lively so you'll still, you'll still see a lot of people walking around. So the second con would be that there's very limited um, job opportunities for foreigners if you're looking for anything other than being an English teacher. Although English teaching is quite sought after, if you want to kind of do anything other than that, you don't have many options. Your options are very very limited, especially if you don't speak Korean. So the third pro would be that the food there is delicious. I love Korean food. I like Korean food because it incorporates usually a lot of vegetables and also it's very spicy and I love spicy food so it's just a match made in heaven. Although I will say like a little con of that is that food that you wouldn't expect to be sweet is sweet. Like I remember one time when I went to the Bread Blue, I had eaten this garlic bread. I brought garlic bread and it was sweet and I was like... You know, garlic and sugar really don't match for me. I mean, I'm open to trying anything, but um, it was just, it was not, I was not a fan of it. To be honest, I did not like it at all. But a more bigger, but a bigger con is that Korea isn't really like vegan or allergy friendly. Korea was voted one of the least vegan friendliest countries to visit. And I will say it's very, very hard. There's not that many vegan restaurants. Of course, I was vegan throughout the whole trip and I can give you a video about how I survived being vegan. Another pro is that it's very cheap um, when it comes to food or skincare, makeup, transportation. Like when it comes to makeup and skincare, they'll give you a lot of free stuff. Like I got a lot of free face masks. Um, and even when you order food, they'll give you service. When they're giving you service, they're giving you something for free. When I went to the Bread Blue, they gave me a little biscuit and they also have given me other free things. And even when one of my friends went, they gave her free stuff as well. So the next con is that they treat foreigners not the best, honestly. Um, I personally had a couple of experiences as well. Um, and a lot of my friends that were on the study abroad with me also uh, faced some sort of discrimination. Um, I remember one of my friends were in Busan, he went to eat at a restaurant and when he sat down, the manager came up to him and told him he had to leave. He, there was no reason why like he wasn't making any sort of disturbance and he said when he looked around, it was just only Korean people so probably because he was a foreigner, he wasn't allowed in. I actually, before I even studied abroad, I was completely unaware of the fact that foreigners were treated like this. Obviously now the issue has definitely 
been brought attention to with Squid Games about like, you know, the foreigners getting tricked and then also the cast members explaining their experience as a foreigner. However, that being said, my next pro is that it's very easy to make friends. Um, when going in there, I didn't think I was going to have a problem just because I make friends really easily and, you know, I'm a bit outgoing. Sometimes, you know, me and my friends are just walking late at night and we just get approached by people and then that's how we became friends. I've literally hung out with people I've met on like the line to the bathroom, you know, so it's really easy to make friends. Something that's also a con is that there's no foreigner markets really. Outside of Itaewon, it's gonna be kind of hard to find maybe Mexican restaurants or Indian restaurants. I mean, you will find them, but they're far and few. For food, I actually really like going to Itaewon. There's this really good restaurant called Taco Amigos and they had so many vegan options and the vegan options were amazing and they also had Agua de Jamaica. I was, I was in heaven, okay? And it was so good. Definitely check it out. Next time I go to uh, Taco Amigos, when I go to Korea, I am definitely vlogging it. Food there is amazing, okay? I love it. Another pro is that there's a lot of activities there. You, I don't think, I think you can be in Korea for a year and do something each day and you would still have something new to explore, to do. There's literally so much to do and it's at a very affordable price. Like there's escape rooms and all different types of cafes. Like any anything you can think of, there's a cafe version in Korea based off of it. So there's like the poop theme cafe, there's like animal cafes, like cat cafes or like meerkat cafes or you know, sheep ones even, anything really. Also the Han River, there's so many parts of the Han River, uh, the the main one is the Yoido one, also karaoke, karaoke you'll find it, um, especially in Hongdae, a lot of areas that have norebangs and they're very affordable. Con for a lot of people is that just Korea is so big on just plastic consumption, just if you go to the, the convenience stores, the ice is in plastic wrap, even the milk sometimes comes in plastic, a pro is actually the convenience stores and how they operate. So you'll find a lot of convenience stores being 24 hours, which makes it really convenient, especially if you are a night owl like me and your sleep schedule is super irregular. Sometimes, I, you know, I'm still awake at like 5 a.m. and you know, I'm hungry. Also, the convenience stores have a lot of vegan options, surprisingly. have had vegan ice cream. I've seen um, the... not the onigiri. Um, the samgap kimbap, the kimbap, they have a lot of like soy milk options and the soy milk uh, in the little cartons and little like juice box. There's this one brand called like Vegemil. Oh my god, the soy milk in Korea is just amazing. It's just a, such a clear, crisp taste and it's very sweet and it is just, it's just delicious. So another con would be the air pollution. So when you're there, even before COVID, a lot of people would wear masks just because the air pollution can be really bad. I remember one time I was walking and I was like, oh my god, I didn't realize it was gonna rain. And then it actually wasn't cloudy, it was just all the fog. Like, very, it was just all the fog and you couldn't really see much in the sky. Another pro is no tipping. You've probably heard this a million times, but it is really nice that, I don't know, you just, the price you see on the menu is the price that you're paying. Honestly, Korean food is pretty cheap in general. However, if you're going to specifically vegan places, it can be very pricey. Usually my safe meal was bibimbap. I was eating bibimbap all day, all night, and I had it so much. I love bibimbap, honestly, so I didn't get tired of it really. But you, you typically will have to ask for no egg, and sometimes baby bop comes with meat, so definitely ask for no meat as well, just, just to be on the safe side. Alright, that concludes the pros and cons of Korea and my time there. Despite all the cons, I still want to live there one day. I think Korea is an absolutely beautiful, breathtaking country. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you later.